And this whole book, The Persuaders, is about those joiners because there are a lot of them. And the joiners tend, as, as, as Gen Z youth would say, they often vote on vibes, which is to say their vote for a Donald Trump or a Bolsonaro uh, is less driven by a deep reading of the policy program, because frankly, you and I are probably nerdier than a whole bunch of people voting. Uh, it is based on a sense that they get about what that person's gonna do for their country. And I think the organizers I studied for the persuaders suggest several specific things in this formula that the pro-democracy movement could do right now. A, they, they command attention in a way that the, the far right is often much better at doing. They command attention, they provoke. And you have certain figures on the left, like Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who I write about in the book, who is very good at this and shows a way to do it. They make meaning, which is to say when voters are bewildered by change, by globalization, by racial change, by economic change, trade change, they talk you through it. A lot of people on the pro-democracy side are not very good at that kind of meaning making. The, the far right is very good at offering belonging a home, a sense of kind of transcendence in the movement, the communal, almost quasi-religious element of belonging to things. Pro-democracy side needs to step up at this. Picking fights, scapegoating. There is a good, generative, healthy way of picking righteous fights. Uh, the pro-democracy side needs to get better at this. And finally, I would say, and you referenced it before, story, narrative. When you are trying, Christian, in your career to get people to care about a war that maybe is not on the front page, right? What have you done time and time again? you find a story that will move people, right? You maybe zoom in on a young child or someone that will tug at the heartstrings of people who otherwise can't be bothered half a world away with their busy lives. Well, the pro-democracy movement needs to do a better job of this. Well, let me and when it comes to things like inflation and gas prices, you need to address, meet people where they are and explain to them through narrative and story why the concerns they have are real, not dismiss them, and explain why your policy agenda sees them and will address their, their worries.